Let's make a red pallet for our track spots. Load one track spot. You only load one of each type of fixture that you want the pallet to affect. Set the colour to red. Filter only for colour. Press Store, Pallet. You can see that some pallets have already been stored and named. Pick a pallet number for red. You can use any of the yellow fader numbers. Now load all of the track spots onto the pat pad. To recall a pallet, press Pallet, then its number. Every track spot on the pat pad will change to the pallet settings. Notice the letter E on the colour parameter. This shows that the parameter value came from a pallet. Now, provided that we don't alter those parameters loaded from the pallet, any scenes that we now save will have those E parameters linked to that pallet. Let's record three different scenes that include a link to this red pallet. We are only altering focus parameters for these scenes, so the link to the pallet is included. If we alter the colour parameter, the link to the focus pallet would not be included. When we play back these scenes, we see that they are red because they are linked to that pallet. Imagine that the show's producer doesn't like the red track spots and wants to change them to blue. With pallets, the change is quick and easy. Load a single track spot. Set its colour parameter to blue. Filter only for colour. Store over the old red pallet. Now when we play back those same three scenes, the track spots are blue because those scenes are linked to the palette that we just changed. You can also use palettes for playback. Load all of the track spots onto the pat pad. Press and hold palette until EMOD appears on the display. Now you can change palettes by simply tapping any of the yellow preset numbers. Any highlighted fixtures on the pat pad that are the same type as in the palette will follow your selections. This is another great tool to use when busking a show. Press palette again to deselect it.